how to calculate the mean and standard deviation using an FX82AU Casio calculator. In order to enter this data in and calculate the mean and standard deviation, we first have to put the calculator into stats mode. To do that, we press the mode button followed by the number 2 and then the number 1. What you should see appear is a single column that we're going to enter in our scores. To enter in the scores, you need to enter them in one at a time. After you press each number, you simply hit the equals button to enter it in. You'll see each number appear in this table. It's not important to put the numbers in order from lowest to highest. Um, you can put them in any order, but today we're going to put them in sequentially. So start off with the number 4 right through to the number 15. Just make sure you press equals after each piece of data and most importantly after the last piece of data. So there's 15, 11 pieces of data all into that table. Once it's entered into the table, I then finish off this process by pressing the AC button. You'll notice that the screen has now gone clear. Um, that's okay. The data is in the calculator ready to be uh, processed. Now to work out the mean and the standard deviation, you follow this process. For the mean, shift 1, 4, 2 and then press equals. You'll notice the symbol on the screen here is the same as this symbol here. That's the mean. And for this data, the mean is 8.454545 and so on. We'll round that to one decimal place. So for our data, the mean is 8.5. And the standard deviation, we get that by hitting shift 143 and equals. And you'll notice, see there, the standard deviation, we'll round that again to one decimal place, is 3.5. Okay, in this part, we're going to go through how to enter data in um, to your Casio calculator that's in the form of a frequency table where you have a list of scores and also a list of their frequencies. In order to do that, you need to make sure that you have two columns set up on your Casio calculator to enter each of those columns of data in. In order to do that, we need to first of all hit sh the shift button and then the mode button. Slightly different menu here. The option we'd like is not on the screen. You use the blue button in the middle and press down. And we're after option 3 here that says stat. If you press option 3, the screen should now have the question frequency on or off. And that's asking us do we want to put this frequency column on. So we're going to hit option 1. And now we go into stats mode. If you remember that's mode option 2 and then option 1 and you'll notice now we have an additional column here the frequency column so we're going to go and enter the scores first and then enter the frequencies second so 3 4 5 6 7 8 3 equals 4 equals just as we did before now you notice as I enter this data in the frequency column ha is being um, filled with the numbers um, 1 that's okay because we're going to use the blue button here in the middle again. Place your cursor up next to the three and now we're going to enter this data over the top of those ones. So we'll start with five, three and seven. So five, three, seven, eight, four and two. And just to check your data, you can scroll back through. Just make sure you've entered the right frequency next to the right score. That looks great. And now we follow that same process as before. Press the AC button. All the data is now in the calculator. And go through shift 142 and equals, which will give us an average. And you can see there we have an average of 5.3. And sh if I hit shift 143 for the standard deviation, again to one decimal place, we've got a standard deviation of 1.5. As a tip, 
if you were to go into stats mode and the frequent if you were doing this question and there wasn't a frequency column you could enter it in with the frequency column in there and um, your data would still be the same so in some respects it's probably better just to leave the frequency column there so you don't have to remember how to get it there in the first place thanks for watching this video be sure to tune in for all my other tutorials uh, for the general maths course